Hey guys, Marco here. Today we are looking at the cheap alternative to the macro lens, the macro extension tubes. Ooh, look at that, fancy. <laughs> so how did I run into this little contraption, you may ask? For my latest short that I'm doing, I needed some really close-up detail shots, and you can't really get that with a normal lens. Normally, you'd have to buy a macro lens that focuses on detail shots. You know the ones that I'm talking about, right? The ones that do details of insects and plants and, like, product shots for watches and stuff along those lines. And frankly speaking, like, a decent macro lens will cost you about 500 bucks and then the high-end ones will cost you upwards of thousands of dollars and I was like I, I don't really want to spend that for just a couple shots in a short film so that's when I looked online to see what my alternatives were and that's when I came across these babies these are pretty much just like neck extensions that you add to your lens that turn a regular lens into a macro lens it comes with two different extensions the 10 millimeter and the 16 millimeter which you can use individually to get different effects and different shots or you can stack them together to get a real close and real zoomed in macro effect. What I especially love about these is that they're really easy to use. They just have these two little clips on the side. You're going to push them down, turn them to unlock them and add them to your camera or take them away depending on the effect that you want. Then you can switch your camera to manual focus or autofocus. It does have that autofocus feature, which is a bonus. And then shoot your photo, shoot your video with the macro effect that you like. So let's start with what I loved about these guys, the pros. The most obvious one I think is that it's about 30 bucks compared to the thousands of dollars that you could spend for a really good macro lens you're getting almost the same effect for about 35 bucks. <laughs> Even if this did only a fraction of what the real macro lens would do, it would still be worth it at such a low price. And saying that is really an understatement because the shots I was able to get are actually pretty decent. Like if I were to just show you the footage and didn't tell you that I used macro extension tubes and not an actual macro lens, I doubt you could probably tell the difference. Lenses are super bulky and heavy as well. I hate carrying them in my bag. Right now I have two and that is plenty. Like that is that is already pushing it. <laughs> but adding something so small and compactful to the bag doesn't really make a difference. So even if I don't end up using this lens, it's not like it's weighing me down that much. And again, for about 30 bucks, all of this seems too good to be true. So where are the cons? Where's the problems with it? Where does it lose its value? In my time using these, I really noticed two things that stuck out as a sore thumb to me. The first is because you are sticking this onto your camera and then a lens on top of that it does lose a fraction of the light that comes into the lens so depending on where you're shooting you may have to bump that ISO and your settings up a little bit to allow more light in so if you're shooting in a really dark place you may not be able to get the best results with this if you have a bunch of light and everything you don't really have to worry but it is something I noticed and the second thing for me although it does support autofocus features the autofocus isn't the best on it so if you're solely relying on autofocus to get your best footage I don't think you'll get the best results for me when I'm filming these projects I usually switch it to manual focus to really grab what I want so in that case I don't mind it too much it's not too big of a problem for me but it could be a problem for some of you but those are probably the two main problems that stood out to me everything else I really don't mind and again for about 30 bucks I'm telling you you can't go wrong with this if the style you shoot is mainly macro and you're only getting those close detail shots then yes invest in a macro lens because it's what you focus on but if you're like me you only need a few shots here and there for creative projects or just shits and giggles this is a no-brainer <laughs> and just an FYI I'm not sponsored by these guys so everything that I say is truly coming from me I just like supporting good products to help me do my thing if any camera companies would like to sponsor me though I wouldn't be opposed to it so. <laughs> I think that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on all my socials. Links are in the description. And until next time, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now.